everyone, it's Abby from Make Life Your Runway, and we're here with my weekly makeup basket. <laughs> All right, so in front of you is last week's basket. I will have that link down below if you missed it. But if you're new to this series, we go through my makeup collection, and we select items that I'm going to use for the upcoming week. This helps me rotate through all of my items. Also, this week I do have my boxy charm, so we're gonna go through my boxy charm as well. So if that sounds like something you would like to watch, then just keep watching. Here we go. All right, guys, you are probably hearing Morty eat. It is his afternoon snack. I just got home. I spent the day with eighth graders. As you guys know, I'm a high school school counselor, and uh, once a year at this time, we go to the eighth grade middle school to schedule them and talk to them about high school and just uh, get them thinking about high school and how it's different in the middle school and all that stuff. But if any of you work with eighth graders or have young preteens, you know to capture their attention, you have to be like, song and dance, performing, high energy, or else they are not going to be engaged. With that said, I am really hyper right now, and I'm really exhausted. So you might be feeling a lot of energy, and I'm so sorry if it's too much, but I gotta just ride the road I'm living, you know? That didn't make any sense. But anyways, last week's products, I really loved all of these, um, I really grooved with this basket just like I did with the one from last week. It was so good. So let's talk about what we're going to put back. We're going to keep my Mia. This one is just living in here this year. Um, so you got pan and a couple items. I am going to put back the Sephora a Z palette that I pick. I had this in for two weeks and I really loved it. I kept it in mostly to use this Shy Blush from Mary Kay and I did end up using that a few times along with these other colors. I'm actually wearing this Morocco from Makeup Geek today. Um, so really enjoyed this. Oh, I also put this, um, this is from ColourPop. This brown color, you can see it's very powdery. So is the Makeup Geek one, really. But um, both of those are in the crease of my eye. But I will put that back. On my lid, I have one of the colors from this Com Comfort Zone palette. I have this tan. I wore this a couple of times, but I'm going to go ahead and keep this in my basket because I want to get some more use out of it. So these two are going to stay. My Urban Decay All Nighter always stays in here, so we're going to keep that. This is a little primer from Urban Decay that I'm panning, so we're just going to uh, put this in the painting side. I'm going to put back this week, um, this is Dr. Brandt Luminizer. This particular product never wants to focus. There we go. Pours no more Dr. Brandt uh, Luminizer Primer. This is a thick illuminating primer and I do like it but I am going to put it back. This was an, a boxy charm item from a couple of weeks or a couple of months ago. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it happened. This is Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Water Foundation. It has been my favorite all year and I think I got it in December. Um, but anyways, I really loved it. I'm going to try to pour out one more use but today it was completely dumped upside down and I just barely got one use out. So I'm going to try to get one more, but it is so sad. This is one I'll probably get again next winter, but this is fair light neutral, perfect color. I just loved everything about this. I love that it's lightweight um, and it's light coverage, but other products sit well on top of it. So... That is done. So sad, so sad. This is Project Pan item, so we're going to leave those here. And then for face, I, uh, the Essence Pure Nude, I used a couple of times, and I do enjoy it. I'm going to put it back. I'm panning two highlighters, so it's too much to have a lot of highlighters in here. We're going to put back Moonstone by Opal. Used this a few times, and it's been in here a couple of weeks. Absolutely love this one as well. Just a very in-your-face highlight, which is nice. Luminoso, if you watched last week, you know my boyfriend picked this one out. I wore it a few times. He was like, ooh, I did good with that one. But um, I really enjoyed this. Very natural flush color to the cheeks, but I am going to put that back. And uh, this is a product lives in here, so we'll talk about that in a moment. As far as these products go, I'm going to keep in my Essence uh, Make Me Brow in Blondie Blonde, or Blondie Browns, guys. 
<sighs> Gimme Brow released its new updated quality whatever Gimme Brow by Benefit. I'm kind of bitter, but I kind of want it again. I don't know. Here is Maybelline Better Skin. This one is in 10 Ivory, keeping in my Lancome eyeliner. I did purchase uh, makeup. I just got this L'Oreal Luminous Base. This is the Luminous Primer. It was $5.99 at Target. I wanted to try it out, so I did pick that up. I'm going to keep in Essence Lash uh, Princess. This is a favorite. I think I got about one or two more uses of the L'Oreal Brow Stylus. And then this um, Ico Mascara. Um, these are the two mascaras I am working through. This one is drying out a lot. But um, anyways. And then they, these products right here are the ones that are always in this basket. So we have the uh, Becca Under Eye Brightener. Dim Light Powder by Hourglass, Stila Heavenly Hue Kitten Highlighter. I show these every week, so I'm just going to skim through them. Here is the Cover FX um, Translucent Setting Powder, and then the Wet n Wild Dulce de Leche. So that is everything that is going to stay in here. Um, I do want to go through my Boxy Charm, which is just sitting to the side here. So this is Boxy Charm for March, yeah, March 2018, so that's what the front looks like. It was in my kitchen, so it looks like it got some grease or something on it. Anyways, so the theme, here's the trash, let me put that to the side. The theme is vacation, <laughs> like vacation, the vacation. Um, so if you're not familiar with BoxyCharm, five full-size items every month for $21. So the first one is this blush. This is from Pretty Vulgar. This is a brand that is at Sephora. Relatively new, not brand new. And this color is in Make Them Blush. And I, it, oh my gosh, it is so bright and kind of has like a little bit of a purple hue. Oh my gosh. Ah! Okay, we're going to pull this this week and see what it looks like. But that is a little intense. And then, of course, I don't have, like, a towel. Um, this is a BoxyCharm collabor collaboration with Pure. <laughs> and this is a eyeshadow palette. And look at these colors. I love this peach tone. I haven't swatched any of these or even, like, done anything with it. So, ooh, they seem nice and smooth. Okay, okay. Speaking of peachy tone, ooh, okay. Oh my gosh, guys, Mel is dropping its new stack. It's called Baby something, Baby Girl, maybe is what it's called. It is peach, all peach. It drops March 23rd. I've already decided I'm going to buy it. But anyways, this is another beautiful peach palette, and I'm going to use it this week as well. There is a mascara, a double-decker mascara from Buxom, and it looks like it's a very full brush. And then we have some under eye gels. These are from South Main. Um, three gel packs. So I'm going to move those to my bathroom. Definitely get use out of them. And then from the brand Vintage Cosmetics. I see this brand at TJ Maxx a lot, but I've never actually picked anything up for it. And I don't know where you purchase it outside of TJ Maxx. So if you guys know, let me, uh, or leave a comment down below. But there are, it's basically a step. One says for the money, and it's just this flat shader brush right here. And then the second one is called, um, oh wait, where's step two? Here's step two, and this is more of like an angled fluffy brush. And then um, step three says, go girl, go. <laughs> And that's an even like tinier packing brush. This would be nice for like pigments or something like that. So that is the boxy charm. So I will pull in the eye palette, like I said, and the blush. So we're gonna go through my collection and pick the rest of the products. Okay, so this is the face chore uh, highlight bronzer blush and um, face palette and foundation. So, I have used up two foundations this year, and like I mentioned a last video or video before, my friend started selling Mary Kay, so I wanted to support her. I picked up the Mary Kay Time Wise Foundation, and this one is in Luminous Wear. This is my color. I wore it one day, and it wore really nicely. It does have a little bit of a yellow tint. It is in Ivory too. 
Um, so that is what it looks like. It's a little more yellow than I personally like, but um, it does blend nicely into my face. It is a little bit of a thicker formula. Um, a lot of times, not always, luminous foundations are more liquidy. This one is more of a thicker formula, like I just said. So I definitely want to pull a more hydrating or thinner primer. So with it, um, we're just going to like double radiance. This is going to do... Or, sorry, this is Laura Mercier Radiance Primer. And I think the two will be nice and glowy, and I'm excited. Um, yes, and I just dropped that. Alright, so that is good for there. And let's see, I think. Do I want one that I feel okay? So when I used it that one day, I felt like it, it was so thick it took a minute to blend out. So I think I'm gonna act. Uh, also pull, uh, pull in, this is um, Maybelline Fit Me, and this one is in uh, Fit Me 120, and this one also is the Dewy and Smooth. So I'm going to pull that, and this foundation from number 7 Lift and Luminate, I don't think will take me too long to use up, um, but after that I want to focus on this one because... This is probably my newest foundation outside of that Mary Kay one, but it's like my color right now. It's not perfect, but it's close enough that I don't want it to sit around for a year and not get used. So that will be my next focus coming up here soon. But um, my goal is to use up all the foundations I had at the beginning of the year. So that's all of them except for that Mary Kay one. And I like, I'm so close yet so far. <laughs> all right, so we're good with that. And then I do want to pick another, like one blush and one highlighter. And I don't think I want to go with a palette this week. That might be something I do next week or something. Um, doo -doo, but I have rotated through these so often that, um, okay, let's just stick with Milani. And this one is just more of a pink color called Dulce Pink, whereas Luminoso is more peach. Although I do have that bright one from Vintage, so I probably don't want two bright pinks this week. Ooh, I know exactly what I want to pull. Where is it? We're going to go in with NYX Mauve. What is this one? Mauve and Out is what this one's called. So, yeah. I have had this for a few months, maybe a little longer. I really like it. I have, But it seems like every time I pull it, I pull a bunch of other products with it, too. So, I don't get to commit a lot of time to it. So, it would be nice that I'll just have those two high our blushes for the week. So we're going to pull that. As for highlights, um, let's see. Is there anything that I'm like thinking it's been a while since I used? Again, I'm pretty good about rotating through things. Okay, let's go with this. This, I almost dropped it. <laughs> this is Urban Decay Afterglow in Sin. Okay, girl. Okay, I see you. We're going to go with this. Um, is that it? I feel like these baskets just go so fast. It's so sad. I always look forward to filming them, but then when they're over, I'm like, why? <laughs> okay, um, we're going to go down to the eyes, the palettes. Um, yes, maybe, yes, yes. Okay, let's do that. All right, here's my palette drawer. It's a little bit of an awkward angle, but before I got the pure, um, oh, guys, look. Ooh. Morty! Morty! Hi, baby! Oh, your baby! Oh, your baby! He is so sweet. My little old man. Okay, anyway, sorry. Let me bring you back in. Where were we? Before I got the Pure Palette, I did really want to grab one of my Melt Stacks, and, um, but now I feel like that might be too much to have, like, three palettes, or three, yeah, three palettes plus a Melt Stack. I don't think I would realistically get through to them, so I do want to actually, um, focus in on this section and pull in my Stila. Oh my gosh, guys. I just got home, like I said. Woo! 
And he just like can't even handle it right now. <laughs> Anyways, um, this one is in Kitten Karma. And I talked about how I tried Diamond Dust at the store and I made me really want it, but I don't even use this one enough. So I'm going to pull that and. I think that's actually going to be everything, so let me put the basket together and I will show it to you guys. Oh, it's such like a small little basket, but I don't know what else I want to pull. I feel like that when the baskets are small like this, I actually get a lot of use out of them. Oh, I know what product I need to pull. I'm going to grab it down here real quick. I need, um, do, 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 I need another, um, I can get it out. I need another brow product, so we're gonna go with this one that came in BoxyCharm. It is It Cosmetics Brow Power, Power, and this is Universal Taupe. So I haven't tried this yet, and so hopefully I will enjoy using it, but just like a spoiler alert, <laughs> I have only like one or two uses left in this and I have grown to love this so much so I do want to keep that and then I also want to grab from down here part of the reason I wanted to pick up this uh, primer from L'Oreal is because my um, they're real from Benefit Mascara so hard to get off by itself but if you use a primer with it um, it comes off pretty nicely. So I wanted to do, do add another uh, mascara because I think I only have like a couple more weeks. I might push it to another month, but this one is almost done. And so yeah. All right, everyone, that is my basket for the week. Thank you all so much for your love and support. And I will see you in my next video. Also, in case you missed it, the products I decluttered last week, I posted a get ready with me using them, so I'll link that down below. Make sure you check it out. But anyways, thank you so much, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!